Okay. I hate doing intros, so. Oh, man. I hate this shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it. Um, I'm having a baby. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, update. Um, just kind of like what's going on with me and my mental and goals. And there's no like big, um, like there's no big thing that's happened. Like there's no giant life event that's happened to like motivate this change. I think it's just on genuine burnout. And, um, I think like what inspired me to make this change is kind of learning that not learning, but kind of more so like real re realizing that, um, I used to enjoy like the process as well as like the milestones that you kind of cross along the way. And I want to enjoy that process again. So I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up, but I'm adjusting and I just want to explain kind of the reasons behind it, uh, the reasons I felt discouraged, uh, the things that have been good too. There's been good things as well. Like we've hit some really cool milestones, but um, I think that ultimately Twitch, is, um, Twitch doesn't really have like an ecosystem and what I mean by that is um, for me to hit like kind of my goals and the reason like I feel discouraged is the only place you're going to see like genuine growth or like uh, like the only place that like you can like see like like sustainable growth from is if you're in a kingmaker sp uh, spot on Twitch. And like what that is, is if like the games that I'm interested in, like you're going to have to have like 300 viewers to like a thousand to be like in those top two sections of like six to nine streamers. Um, like, it, it, you know, on Twitch where it's like it's broken up by category, you go into the game, it's like, boom, highest viewed person is like 3000 viewers and they're not even playing the game. They're probably full cam doing react content. And, you know, that's just whatever you know like yeah I, I i'm not i'm not knocking react content but i'm just saying it's just like i don't understand what it takes in the nine years i've streamed on twitch um i've never averaged over 20 viewers um i don't know how people do it i don't understand it um i maybe am doing something wrong but yeah i've been i've been doing this off and on for nine years uh seven months consistently this time and um yeah, like it is, it is a grind. Uh, it just feels like um, I've treated it like a job. Uh, that's a big part of it as well, because uh, it was my job um, for this last seven months. And I think it's made me not enjoy it as much because um, one of the big metrics is viewership, you know? And it ultimately feels like, uh, I've, I've just had a hard time getting people to show up. I feel like I, um, I feel like I'm in high school again, like throwing a party and then like no one is showing up. Well, not no one, no one's like obviously like a bit of like an exaggeration, but it just, we haven't hit like, um, it doesn't see like, like the trajectory of how things are going. It doesn't feel great. Um, it doesn't feel like it's easy. It's, it's, it, it feels like it's almost inconsistent or not, um, that like the effort and viewership don't necessarily like align. And that for me is like a big thing where it's like, I feel like I have so much effort to put into things that I care about and I'm passionate about, but I'm starting to notice that like dwindle and kind of fade out a little bit so instead of you know being insane and still approaching things in the same way i'm going to pivot and uh focus more on youtube going forward um the reasons behind that is uh i enjoy youtube uh they don't automatically delete your uh videos after you know x amount of days like 
ultimately like when you stream right you're streaming for the clip and then from the clip you hope the clip goes viral then you get more viewers i think that's the name of the game um i don't really love doing that because it's like i don't really watch back my youtube shorts or like my tiktoks i do watch back my long form videos because i feel like there's they're meticulous like there's thought and effort and you know just their memories more so than like I feel like uh, short form content, right, is about like instant gratification and um, like, you know, like you're watching a video of somebody explaining something and then like in the back of the video, there's some guy cutting like a clay star perfectly or a GTA car going down a hill and it's just flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping. Um, so... I um I like YouTube for that reason. Like your videos are always going to be there. You can look back at them. Like I can look back at like my original CS:GO videos and see how bad I was at mouse and keyboard. Um I love reading like the uh positive YouTube comments. Um obviously there's some toxic ones too, but like there's way more good than there is bad and that's cool because everything I make is the stuff that I find genuinely like interesting. Um and uh i think like i think there's uh i think with youtube like there's definitely a barrier to entry but it's definitely like a skill and i feel like the effort aligns with like if you make a really like you make really good content on like say like we i did a subathon on twitch right and that was really fun right but it doesn't really translate like the effort that goes into like the stream that that it would on like a youtube video if that makes sense like a youtube video can always do well like there's always the chance of it doing well and i think that's where it's like where your goals are like set and for me personally i think my goals more are aligned with like youtube stuff then they are streaming things like I'm I still want to stream because I love the interaction bit and piece of it. But um, I'm looking for more feedback to get better as like a content creator, essentially. And I feel like I just haven't really been getting that from streaming. Like, I feel like I'll like ask, like, hey, like, what do we want to do today? Or like, what like are we feeling? And, um, you know, sometimes you, there's just no one responding. And that's like, OK, you know, I'm not saying like um, it's just it just it's discouraging. It's um, it's it's hard. And 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 also to like just genuinely like um, make a living streaming is really, really hard. Like it's super hard. So um, we got the good old fashioned resume back out there. And um, yeah, that's uh, out there. Hoping we get uh, the, the, the bait is out. The hook is in the water. Um, I think what I'm looking forward most is uh, to doing is just kind of like getting more of into that creative flow again. Um, of like making stuff that's like fun and enjoyable and like you can do that on streaming i'm not saying you can't but um i think you can do that on youtube but also hit milestones along the way like streaming i just feel like there's either like a lot of people either view botting or there's like something that i fundamentally just don't understand um, but also on top of that, it's like, I, I understand like my on camera presence. Like my gameplay is decent. It's, I'm not like, uh, what's his face? Asu or shroud or, um, who's really fun to watch, uh, faker, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, what's going on going forward i will be uh making multiple channels i want to try out like anime music videos and um like tutorial videos and maybe do gym content like i don't know like i feel like it's less limiting with youtube and you can kind of just do what you want and i know you can do that streaming but i mean 
at least like the content that you put effort into is going to be seen on YouTube. But yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. Yeah. <laughs>